All right, let's do this. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I hope you're all doing okay. I'm Pierre, your host, and this is the channel where we share everything that's going on in the studio. So let's start off like we do every day, is go over to the computer and take a look at what we did yesterday. So yesterday we basically worked on this painting, and what did we do? We started off by putting a second coat of green on the frame. And then while that was drying, we added uh, the background to these four sperms that are part of our centerpiece. And then while that was drying, we went back and we added some shading to our frame. So that's basically what took us all afternoon yesterday. And today, what are we going to do? Well, we are going to start off with uh, putting on the first coat of paint on the sperms. Like that, it will have time to dry before we put on a second coat. And then we're going to start the outline of our frame. So that's what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to start off by getting the paint ready to put on the sperms, and I was thinking of going with uh, one of these nice golden yellows. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this ready, and it should go relatively quickly because it is just the first coat. So let me get a little palette here. There we go. And my faithful knife. So I am going to put a good amount of paint in here on the palette because I am going to want this to be as thick as possible, even though it will take two coats. But I do want it to be nice and thick because uh, I just love my colors to be really vibrant. You know, I'm part of that electric acid uh, generation, so I like my colors to be very vivid. So, as you can tell if you go to my website, you know, zenartrebel.com or the zenrebel.com, whatever you want, and you can check out uh, my paintings or some of my paintings because I have tons of them. And uh, you can also check out my movies. Yep, I make a making of, of every painting I do. And I've been doing this for the last eight years or so. So there are a whole bunch of movies of uh, how I made each individual painting. Some of them have little scripts, little humor, music, whatever. Okay, so let's get back to our... Uh, picking out a brush. So what are we going to use for a brush? I am going to go with maybe this guy right here. Nothing too thick. Actually, this one looks like a good one, but I was hoping to use this for the edge. But I could use it here. I don't remember what I used yesterday for this. So maybe I'll just take a few seconds and go through all my brushes here and see which one suits the purpose the best. I wanted one with like soft hair brushes, rather these, uh, these that I use for my outlines, which are a little stiffer. So I want something softer. And that is why I am coming to this, to these guys. This here is a little white. I'm afraid I won't have the control that I want. Let me just wet it a little bit and see. What the heck? Let's go with this one. And if it doesn't work out, I can always switch. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to switch cameras so we can work out this uh, 
paint to get it to the right texture that I like uh, for painting. So I'm just going to bring this down like this. I do have a little chair right here with some water as well, which is very handy. And this is not rocket science. All we're going to do is just get this yellow paint to be the right texture. It doesn't matter if I have like a, a square meter to paint or a square inch. I always work my paint so it becomes nice and creamy and has that that texture that just covers very well and at the same time keeps the opacity as much as possible. So not very complicated. I'm just going to work this out, just turn and churn and whatever. And already I can see it's getting nice and creamy there. I'm going to add maybe just a little bit, one more dab of water. Because there will be two coats no matter what what I do, so I might as well. And I do see here a little thing that I'm sure, okay, no, I was afraid that would give me problems later on as I'm applying the paint, but it's part of the, the palette, so I don't have to worry about it. And maybe just one more drop of water. It's a beautiful day here in southern France. I would say the temperatures are maybe 75 degrees. Very nice, very pleasant. And let's go with this. Okay, so let me just get all this excess paint on the brush. There we go. I'm going to bring up the camera. There we go. And we'll tackle that upper left hand sperm. There we go. Okay. I don't quite have the control that I want. I'm going to continue though because it does cover very nicely as well. But when I get to the edges, though it really doesn't matter because there will be a black outline on these edges, but still I'm I'm a little finicky about that. I don't know why, because I know it doesn't matter. And yet, I always try to get as close as possible to the edge, which is totally ridiculous. But I can't help myself. And I can't explain it either. There, okay, very good. So up here is very thick. I don't have plenty of time to dry, but. Anyways, there you go. Spread that out. Very nice. So, let's just pull the camera back for a second. Give us an idea. And that does look rather nice, right? I leave it like that. Okay, there's a little shine from the window. The sunlight in the window, but looks very nice. Okay, so let's go over to the next... To our next little... Sperm, I'll zoom in a little more. There we go.
Okay, that's going pretty good. Let me just get this area right here. There. Okay, very good. Very nice. Okay, there's uh, number two. Let's pull the camera back. I'll pull this down. And I'll, again, I'll zoom in on this sperm down here. I think I'm going to grab my chair, though, and sit down for this. And, uh, you always have to be comfortable when you're painting, otherwise if you're bending down and you're, it's painful on your back or whatever, well, you just have tendencies to screw up. So I am just going to get nice and comfy. And let's go. And besides the two coats of yellow paint, there will also be some ochre yellow shading on these, just to give these sperms some depth, make it look a lot nicer as well, I must admit. But one little stroke to get rid of the excess pain, and then I just go and smooth it out afterwards. Like I mentioned earlier, there will be a black border to all this, so no big deal. There we go. Again, trying to get to that very edge. What for? Why? Just out of stubbornness, I guess. Anyways, there we go. Let's spread all this nice, so it's nice and even. There we go. Okay, very good. Very good. Let's get to our last, our last little sperm right there. Okay. This is why I love painting this these size of paintings just because it's it's just so enjoyable to do this kind of movement. The painting is uh what is it? About fifty seven inches by forty inches. And it is very quickly becoming my favorite size. Since lockdown, this is basically almost every painting we've done, except for maybe two occasions, have been paintings about this size. Okay, let me just get over here a little bit. A little sloppy there on the end, but there's nothing you can't fix if you catch the mistake early enough. That's the wonders of acrylic paints. Like before it dries, if you screw up somewhere, I'll just get a rag, you wet it, and wipe it off. That is before it dries, of course. And I've made that mistake a few times. 
There we go. Okay. Very good. Let me pull the camera back right here. And I'll move the camera back until we decide what the next step is. Get my chair out of the way as well. So, I guess I'm going to put the yellow paint back in its can because I'm going to be, it's going to take a while to do this border. I usually say that and then it takes like five times less long, but uh, I don't want the paint to dry for nothing and waste it, so I might as well just put it back in its jar and I'll grab it as as I need it. Price that the price that painting materials are cost, uh, you definitely do not want to waste anything. Not one drop of paint. It costs a fortune. Even for guys like me who make a fortune painting. I'm still a little stingy and I'm careful not to waste anything. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So I don't know what I'm doing. Just wasting time, I guess. When I should be getting ready for the next step. And the next step we said was putting a black outline on the inner and outer side of our frame. So I'm going to get some black paint here. Now, this is the black paint I used for my splattering. So it's fairly liquidish. And I think maybe I will just make a new fresh batch of black paint so I'm sure that I can control the texture of the paint and doesn't when I do this line doesn't start dripping right. We wouldn't want that to turn into a catastrophe. So what do I need? I need my fearless knife. Here we go. And I need some sort of a palette. There we go as well. Very good. I'll put the brush there. Get it wet. I see a lot of shavings from my eraser in here. Might as well blow it off so it doesn't cause any problems later on. So I'm going to make a good amount of black paint. I guess that will that will be okay. I mean, I don't have. It's not going to be as though I'm going to have to match two separate colors and try to find them later. Black is black, and uh, and that's about it. So I don't have to worry about matching those colors. So I can just do a little bit now. And if I run out, well, I'll just make another batch of black, right? When I have a, a fairly thin line, which is going to be, what, maybe a quarter of an inch, I have a hard time calculating uh, the amount that I need. So There we go. So what brush am I going to use? This is the brush I'm definitely going to use. And we're just going to mix all this to get the right texture. And like before, I'm going to go over to uh, my other camera right here, camera number one. And, uh, and we're just going to mix this together, get that right, that nice creamy texture that we like. There we go. Very good.
Yeah, this will definitely not be enough. I can tell now as I'm working it to get that right that right texture. And like I said earlier, it's no big deal. Only thing I'm going to have to worry about is starting like I usually do on the upper left hand corner, working my way down so I don't put my hand in the wet paint. Then I'm pretty good at that by now, so it shouldn't be a problem. So this is nice texture right there, but I think I'm going to just dilute it a little bit more. What is this crap on my fingers? Jeez, I don't want to get my hands dirty now, would I? Well, I'm not a slob. Okay, so very good. I think this is a pretty good texture. I'm going to just clean off the brush one more time. And let's tackle this upper left hand corner. So I'll bring the camera back up. And we are going to aim that corner. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Maybe zoom in a little more. There we go. Something like that. And I'll move the camera. I always do this afterwards. I should do this before I zoom in. But anyways. Just moving the camera a little bit so I'm not in the way. And there we go. So, let's start off this upper left hand corner here. And I'm going to just be careful to start off because there are a lot of little ripples here from my, from my staple that I put on this canvas. And I'm hesitating because this brush seems suddenly to be wider than I was hoping. So I'm just going to Now, it doesn't really matter up here because I can go on the wall. But when I'll be down here, it's going to be important. So I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to keep this brush for the outer edge, that's for sure, because it seems to be working very nicely, giving me that quarter inch thickness that I wanted. But I might have to switch brushes when I go on the lower part. So... Let's go down this way. Now this is a little tricky here because I'll zoom in so you can see here. And hopefully the camera is not going to get too blurry. And I'll just zoom in right on the edge here. And right here you can see there are like little hairs little hairs right on the edge of my canvas. That's because it was a roll of painting that was not primed. This this distance here, about an inch and a half, was not primed when I bought the canvas, when I unrolled it. So it leaves these little hairs, which when now I'm painting over them, it's going to be a little tricky. It's no big deal either. I will just, will just take a little more time and I will have to go and like just kind of, oops, not do that, that's for damn sure. And just kind of poke at it, make sure all these little hairs get covered with paint. There we go. There we go. So I do want to make this a little bit wider right there. I ran into a staple, so I'm going to go the other way. And just get these hairs again on the edges like that. And since I'm going to go all around the canvas doing this, I'm just going to bring this out a little bit. 
excitements. There we go. Nice, nice and straight. And and I guess I might as well just continue, right? So I'm just going to continue down this outer edge. And I was thinking, what was I thinking? Go, oh yes, since this is going to take a while, I thought maybe I'd just put some music on. So this is uh, some music of friends of mine. This is uh, Lucien, who plays the sort of drums, and who did the mixing. Then you have Jacek, who's on the guitar. And then finally, on the violin, and who sings a little bit, is my friend Diego. So let's listen to their music, and I'll go back to camera number one, and let's continue this. I have to stop here because I need to do this part, the lower part, before I continue. So I have to, maybe I'll just go back up here. This area
step back for a second. Looks like it could just be a little bit wider at the beginning here. So I'm going to try the same brush on the inside and if it's too wide I will just switch. I did switch brushes and I'm happy I did so. It was the right move. So let me just continue here a little bit more.
Okay, very good. I guess I'll work on this outer edge now as well. Before I bring my chair over. So I'm going to switch back to my first brush that I used for the outer edge. It didn't make a difference really, so I might as well go back to it. So I'm going to tackle this upper left hand corner again. So put this away. Maybe just add a little bit of water here. Pretty handsome. And we'll tackle this inner edge. Go. Let's get this bottom edge as well. Mm -hmm. 
very good. So on this lower line, I don't have that fuzz that I had on the edges of the canvas. So I can use the same brush. All I want to do is just keep a straight line. That is my main objective. And it's going pretty well as well. And I'm just going to step back here and turn on the fan, which will help the paint dry a little faster. There we go. Just a little dab of water here. I don't have that much paint left. Hopefully we can finish without having to make some more, but if not, no big deal. camera over a little bit. Let's get a little bit of water here. There we go, that's for the inner edge. Now let's finish this outer edge.
the most important part for me is to have a nice straight line. So. Just gonna have enough paint. It's gonna be a really uh, Very good. Bonjour. Ouais, ça va. So there we have it, got all our edges, I'm going to just stop the music for a few minutes as we step back and take a look at where we're at right now. So starting to have an idea of what the whole painting is going to look like. There's going to be quite a bit of details on the green frame. And then, uh, first of all, I think we'll probably put that second coat of yellow on our sperms. Not quite dry. I should have turned the fan on earlier, which I didn't do. Get a nice little clump of paint. Take that off. And then, uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Put a second coat of yellow paint on there. And then, depending if the, the black edge is dry enough, we'll tackle the, the details of that. If not, we will wait till tomorrow. Wait and see. I would have liked the yellow paint to be a little bit drier before I put that second coat on. And it's not quite there. I would say it's about 60, 65% dry. So, so that's pretty good. So I know what I'm going to do. I am going to start, and you can tell by this that we're getting near the end. I am going to start fixing these areas of my splatter that didn't quite go far enough because I masked the whole thing. So I'd rather go back like I'm doing now and just kind of fix all these areas that weren't quite touching. Like for example, right down here, I'll zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. And I'm gonna go right down to this 
lower splattering where it joins, where it should join the black rib, right? Right about here. So I'm just going to go with my brush. We're going to cheat. When the painting's done, nobody except you and myself will know about this. So let's go like that. Like this. Give that illusion of the splattering coming all the way to the edge. Just like that, maybe. Maybe make this a little more solid in the middle, like that. And I'm going to do the same on the topper edge of that same thing, even though there will be a black outline going all the way around. I'm still going to bring this up a little bit more, just like that. There we go. Just cheating a little bit. And I'm going to go all the way around while we're waiting for the yellow to dry. And we're going to do that same thing all the way around. Right down there, for example, it needs it as well. So I'll just go here and Just cheat. There we go. Shit. I put my hand in the in the paint, what I didn't want to do. Fortunately, a little saliva. There we go. So I'm gonna pull the camera back as we go around the edges. Let's go counterclockwise. Maybe right here a little bit as well. It's little streaks to give the impression that the splattering went all the way to the edge. There we go. And we'll work our way up. That one in the middle looks pretty good. On the top, it could, it could go just like a little more like that. And maybe just give there a little streak. There we go. Then we can just work our way around the top. It looks pretty good. Most of it looks pretty good. Maybe towards that far end. Maybe right about there. Maybe we could do a little more streaking. Streaking and tapping like that, just there we go. And then let's go down on the right and go down this outer edge here. Looks like there could you use a little bit. Just a little, continue that streak right in there like that. How about there as well? There we go. Then let's work our way down that edge. Yes, right there could be, could use a little bit. Let me just get a little more paint here. There we go. I don't know, maybe I'll make that solid, just like that. Okay, very good. Now let's go back down to the edge here. And yeah, right there could use quite a bit, right there. So let's cheat a little bit as well. Oh, this is a big splatter, so I'll bring a lot of it over. And then here we can just maybe thin it out right down here. There we go.
I'm going to step back and take a look and see how that looks from afar as well. And from afar, it looks pretty good. So let's pull this back, go back to our center center point. I'll bring the camera back even if we have to move it over later. Not that I want to make you seasick, but just so we can see how everything is from afar. So I can see that here. I will bring it just a little bit because I can tell that it will miss. There we go. This looks pretty good. There will be a ring around this, which should cover this as well, but what the hell, just to be sure, I'll do it like that. Same over here. There's no point in getting any closer. Same here, same here. Maybe here, I could, I could just get a little closer here. There we go. Just like that, there'll be a ring here, so no need to get too specific here. I'll leave that. Ah, here can definitely come closer, right? On this splattering right here. This is going to take some major. I have to cheat here. Major cheating. I'll just start by making some. What the heck? I can't. There we go. It would work better if I put paint on my. A few blobs to make it look like and a few streaks. There we go. Step back and see the, how that looks. Looks like it was well. God, just bring a little bit down here. There we go. And there we go. Just a little bit. There we go. So now what does that look like? That looks pretty good. Up here as well, looks like we could just cheat a little bit by doing this. There we go. And that looks pretty much it. So let me just go around the whole thing one more time. I don't know what happened here, but who cares? There we go. The ring will get this. The rings will get that. Same here. Same here. Yep, yep. Ah, maybe here, right? I don't know what happened here, but I'm just going to bring it over a little bit. Like that, that outer ring will cover that. This should be covered as well, that as well. And on the outside, as we just checked together, we've done all that. Okay. So we fixed more or less the splattering that we did. I don't know when we did that. Did we do that this week or last week? I have no idea. Can't remember. All these days are just mixing in with each other. Okay, so I'll put the black paint away. Now, the yellow. Yes, the yellow can definitely take a second coat now. And I'll get the jar that I had earlier. Bring back out the yellow paint for the second coat. And I really have no idea what I'm going to do on this green uh, frame. I have a, an idea, but uh, I'm not sure I'm going to tackle that today. I might have to just wait, wait a little bit and think this out. Usually overnight or when I come in fresh to, in the studio in the mornings, that's usually a fresh mind, fresh body. And that's usually when I make my major decisions. So uh, that's what happened with this green frame. It was supposed to be black. I came in, I made it green. Same with these uh, little planets or bubbles, whatever you want to call it. They were supposed to be orange. I came in and I changed it to uh, green. So and that's probably what's going to happen on this green frame. I'm probably going to make the major decision 
at the last minute or when, when it's time to tackle it. And I'm not sure that's going to be today, to be honest with you. I think maybe I'm going to wait for tomorrow. I was really hoping to kind of get close to the end of this painting, but what the heck. There is no rush as well, because as soon as this painting's done, it means I have to come up with an idea for another one. So I might as well just enjoy this one. I mean, these paintings go... I mean, we've been doing a lot of paintings here since uh, lockdown, really. I've been whipping out like two paintings a month almost. So, And that is... Uh, when you have to remember, these are 57-inch by 40-inch... Uh, paintings they're fairly large so it's a lot of painting and I'm not complaining believe me I love it I love it so much that I decided I'd want to share it with you guys that's the whole point okay so my paint yellow looks pretty good I'm gonna come back here for a second and I'm gonna bring the camera down we are just going to do this one, add just one last drop of water and work this so it's that nice, really look at that nice creamy texture. It looks like pudding. You almost want to eat it. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Let me just get the excess off here because I can't really control it. And actually, I'm just going to go over. I'm going to bring this up because this is where we're going to be working. But I'm going to go over to the, over here, and I'm just going to wipe this clean. Get the excess paint so I can really have better control over it. And since this is the second coat, I don't have to be that precise. So what I do have to do, though, is Take a step back, take a look at the painting. Actually, even maybe have a little drink of water. Oh, nothing as good as water. A privilege. Okay, so I'm just looking at my outer edge of black that I painted and okay it looks pretty good I'm, I was going to say I'm surprised but <laughs> that's a bad uh, that's a bad thing to say <laughs> okay so let's tackle this uh, upper left hand sperm here give it that second coat I'm just going to leave it like that oh, these colors look so nice at least on the screen they do so let's go with our second coat, get this nice vibrant golden yellow. Look at that, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. And it's going to look even nicer when the ochre yellow shading will be put on there. Then it'll really look, it'll really look great. Very nice. Okay, let's uh, move the camera and just kind of go over to the next one. There we go. Load the brush up there. Very nice. 
between the ochre yellow and the black outline, I'll be able to bring it into perfection. There we go. So, should we go down below? Let's tackle this one here. And like earlier, I'm going to bring my chair just to be nice and comfortable. And switch cameras also as well, as well. There we go, very nice. No need to go too closely to the edges. It's important on that first coat, but on the second coat doesn't really matter. Because the edges will be covered by the black outline and the ochre yellow. You know, very nice. Maybe just a little pad. Oh, shit. Okay, there's a little bit of yellow paint there on my canvas. I'll just drop the camera down so you can see it. Right there. No big deal. Just get a cloth. Then I'll wet it. Wet the cloth and then just go over it. Even though I just painted the black though. That's not the best time to clean. But There we go. Get some dry, a little bit of dryness on that. And then we'll just put some black paint over that if need be. So that's how easy acrylic is to clean when you make a boo-boo. A so let's get back to our last little sperm. <clears throat> I get the yellow paint on that and then I'll go back and just add a little bit of black though. I can see it doesn't need it because as it dries, it just kind of blends in so okay let's get back to this last yellow sperm and then you might wonder why do I paint so many sperms in my paintings well it's not really the symbol of the sperm that I love it's the movement of my hand when I'm painting. I just love the gracefulness of moving my brush in this kind of a sh movement. It's just so physically enjoyable. And of course, in some of my paintings, it is more of a symbol Like when the sperms are heading towards my heart, satellite heart paintings. Okay, there we go. Nice and thick and vibrant and beautiful. There we go. Okay, let me get the chair back here. We'll pull this back as well. Zoom in a little bit like that. Whatever. So I'm going to put my paint back in its jar. I'm not going to waste any of this. Get the hair out of the way as well, maybe. There we go. So what is it? We're Wednesday today, right? Wednesday, uh, maybe the 7th of October. 
and uh, tomorrow is Thursday. So I'm doing my stream at uh, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, but tomorrow, Thursday, I'm doing my stream in French. So uh, Thursdays is uh, my uh, French stream, and then Friday we'll be back with the English stream. Like that, everybody's happy since I am in France and I have a lot of friends and who speak only French, basically. So that keeps them happy, keeps me happy, and it keeps everybody happy in this happy, happy world that we live in. Okay, so I'll, sh <laughs> I'll shut up for a minute and take a look at the painting because I never seem to take the time to do that. So, okay, that's coming along, coming along nicely. I thought maybe I'd be a little further into, into the painting, but not quite. And uh, next I'm going to tackle is, of course, the details of the frame. And I'm not going to do that today. Nobody tackles a major job in the middle or at the end of the afternoon. So I will do that tomorrow morning when we start our stream. So we'll have the shading of the sperms to do, all the black outlines, add a little bit of gold in the center, our outlines here, and We'll be done with that, and then we'll have uh, the frame. Now there's still quite a bit of work, actually. Still quite a bit of work, so Thursday, Friday. Well, if we're lucky, maybe Friday we'll finish this painting. That would be ideal so that Monday we can start, start with a, a new painting, but uh, uh, two days to do this seems, uh, I don't know, I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't bet any money on it because what I had in mind for the frame is a lot of little time-consuming details that eventually looks beautiful. So that's what I have in mind. And I'm, so I'm not going to worry about trying to finish on Friday. Anyways, I am finished for today, though. So like usual, I'm going to leave you with my schedule. I want to thank you again. What the, okay, what the hell is, there we go, I hope I didn't have this on all day, there's nothing more annoying, well, it's pretty dry too, so I must have had this on for a while, thank God I don't parade in front of the camera too much, so excuse me my friends as I take care of my makeup job here, there we go. Nice, beautiful pink nose. <laughs> oh boy, I swear. So anyways, I want to thank you for joining me. I'm going to leave you with my schedule. I hope you'll join me tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Time for the continuation of this painting so you can learn a little bit of French. And until tomorrow, I'll say, ciao, mes amis.